Throughout life, people experience many different types of relationships, from friends to colleagues to lovers and partners. Today, I'm going to tell you about someone I consider to be my very best friend. What happens when that friend wants more? It was October 2014, a quite simple time in my life. I was in second year university studying physics and considering a minor in the motion picture arts. That's when everything changed. See, Allie and I had been friends for quite some time, going all the way back to primary school. But when we started writing together, that's when things changed. That's when I realized there was something different about, about Allie. I realized that she was trying to kill me. With this realization, I had to uproot my life. The murder attempts were beginning to cause too much distress in my day-to-day -day activities. I quickly packed my things and fled to the UK where I knew that Allie could never find me. And now, six years later, I've returned home to this quiet mining town. Six years later, I'm ready to face my killer. I'm told that Allie frequents this place, the Big Nickel. Apparently, on Sunday afternoons, she likes to come here and reflect on her childhood memories. I'm hoping, if given the chance, I'll be able to find her and invite her onto my talk show for a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview. I hope we see her here. I'd love to know what her motives were and what she's been up to now. Hmm. Where could she be? Oh, is that her? Oh my goodness, that is her. I'm gonna go talk to her, I'm gonna go talk to her. Let's see. since we sat together, Allie. It has been. Did you miss me? I did miss you, yes, but I didn't miss the whole theory for my life thing. You were overreacting a little bit, I think. I was killing you with kindness, if anything. When people say killing with kindness, typically they don't mean that literally. That's exactly what you were trying to do. Kill me. No kindness. You're delusional. Okay, let's move on, shall we? You know this whole thing affected me greatly. Yeah, it affected your ability to finish our film. That's not the point. Can I finish? Please. I have to uproot my entire life, Allie. All because I would be leaving our rehearsals wondering if I'd be leaving in a car or a body bag. Well, I guess now you know. That's not the point, Allie. I had to completely eliminate you from my life to ever have any chance of feeling safe again. And for what? Why? What reason? <sighs> I'm listening. You know what you did. I don't, Allie. It didn't do anything to bring this on. You did, and you know you did. All right, then enlighten me, please. Now is the perfect time for you to plead your case. Fine. That was a shitty one, but whatever. It works. At least we got through that one. <sighs> the fucking cat. Can we give him a treat before we do the next one? We're just... It's been a while since we sat together, Allie. It's been a while since we sat together, Allie. It has been. Did you miss me? I did miss you, yes, but I didn't miss the whole fearing for my life thing. You were overreacting a little bit, I think. I was killing you with kindness, if anything. When people say killing with kindness, typically they don't mean that literally. That's exactly what you were trying to do. Kill me. No kindness. You're delusional. Okay, let's move on, shall we? You know this whole thing affected me greatly. Yeah, it affected your ability to finish our film. That's not the point. Can I finish? Please. I had to uproot my entire life, Allie. All because I would be leaving our rehearsals wondering if I'd be leaving in a car or a body bag. Well, I guess now you know. That's not the point, Allie. I had to completely eliminate you from my life to ever have any chance of feeling safe again. And for what? Why? What reason? <sighs> I'm listening. You know what you did. I don't, Allie. It didn't do anything to bring this on. You did! And you know you did. All right, then... Enlighten me, please. Now is the perfect time for you to plead your case. Fine. Fine. It was a, it was a frosty winter morning, February 2013. I was on campus on my way to photography class. And I had a few extra minutes, and I thought that a nice hot coffee would keep me warm on my walk there. But that's what happened. I saw you. You came over to say hi to me. And in doing so, you cut in front of me and took my place in line. What? 
That's what this whole thing is about. Yeah. All because I don't I don't think that cutting in line is grounds for attempted murder. That's not all that happened. Okay. You cut in front of me and you got the last cup of coffee. And I had to wait for a whole fresh pot to be brewed. Okay. Let me get this straight. So I got stuck with the last stale, crappy cup of coffee, and you got to have a nice, fresh one. Honestly, I don't see your point. You made me late to class. You should manage your time better. I did. I missed my midterm. The professor locks the door after the start of class. <sighs> Honestly, Allie, I didn't expect this. Not from you. This whole thing is absolutely absurd. I failed that class, Jess. You made me fail, and that whole incident set me back a year. I could be a world-famous photographer by now. And okay, I understand that. I feel bad, I do. But honestly, don't you think a better solution would have been to, I don't know, maybe just say something to me at the time? I think a better solution would be to take you out. I think it's a little bit too chilly to grow up today. Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Whoa, Allie, no. Allie, no, please. Yes. No worry, Jess. It's never chilly in hell. Allie, no. Oh. Sometimes your friends really don't want more. But sometimes, they just need less. Fine. It was, a, it was a frosty winter morning, February 2013. I was on campus on my way to photography class. And I had a few extra minutes and I thought that a nice hot coffee would keep me warm on my walk there. But that's when it happened. I saw you, you came over to say hi to me, and in doing so, you cut in front of me and took my place in line. What? That's what this whole thing is about. Yeah. All because I don't I don't think that cutting in line is grounds for attempted murder. That's not all that happened. Okay. You cut in front of me and you got the last cup of coffee and I had to wait for a whole fresh pot to be brewed. Okay, let me get this straight. So I got stuck with the last stale, crappy cup of coffee and you got to have a nice, fresh one. Honestly, I don't see your point. You made me late to class. You should manage your time better. I did. I missed my midterm. The professor locks the door after the start of class. Honestly, Allie, I didn't expect this. Not from you. This whole thing is absolutely absurd. I failed that class, Jess. You made me fail, and that whole incident set me back a year. I could be a world-famous photographer by now. And okay, I understand that. I feel bad, I do. But honestly, don't you think a better solution would have been to, I don't know, maybe just say something to me at the time? I think a better solution would be to take you out. I think it's a little bit too chilly to grow up today. Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Whoa, Allie, no. Allie, no, please. Yes. Don't worry, Jess. It's never chilly in hell. Allie, no. Ugh. Sometimes your friends really don't want more, but sometimes they just need less.